Hi everybody, welcome to class. In today's class, it's going to be a combination of strength and inner thigh flexibility. You will need a block for today's practice and uh, feel free to scale down the practice if you feel it's becoming too intense for you and you're not ready to go that far. Pause the video in between and maybe try the sequence again just to get a little bit more heat in the body to get more warmed up. I generally like to do these uh, sequences in repetition at least three or four times before I go into my final pose, my peak pose. But go at your own pace, pay attention to your breath and have a good class. We start sitting to the back of the mat. In a wide need, try sports. So go on, take your knees out as far as you comfortably can. Place your hips on the heels. Bring your arms in front of you and rest your forehead on your palms. Just breathe into your abdomen nice and slow. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. On this inhalation, take your attention to the places where you feel your body is expanding. Breathe in. Breathe out. And feel this expansion. Breathe in. Breathe out. Do one more on your own. Relax your breath. You may gradually bring your knees closer. Have both your arms stretched out in front of you. Look forward in between your palms. Spread your fingers nice and open. You want your palms to feel like paws. Grip the mat. As you inhale, come onto your palms into upward facing dog. It's your first up dog. Your knees can stay on the floor. Focus on your big toes. As if you're trying to stretch both the big toes away from you. Just think of that action. I want to stretch both my big toes away from the body. Push the palms down. Depress your shoulder blades and look forward. Just check that your neck is free. There's no tension in your neck or the shoulders. Good. Sit back into child's pose. Round your spine, especially the lower back. Place your forehead down. Come again to that feeling of expansion. Especially when you inhale. Notice where in your body you feel that expansion. Let's do this once more. Look forward. Inhale. Coming onto your palms to upward facing dog. This time you can go a little bit deeper. Keep both the knees off the mat. Still checking that your neck feels very comfortable, relaxed. Let's stay here another three breaths. Exhale, lower your knees to the floor, round your spine, exaggerate that rounded feeling as you go back into child's pose. Let's 
Let's do this one more time. Arms in front. This time I'd like you to keep your toes stuck in. Stimulate the joints of your toes. Pressing into the balls of the feet. Inhale, come onto your palms. Into a variation of up dog. Your knees and hips are off the mat. Look in front. Very good. Exhale, push your hips back for down dog. Bring your left foot in between your palms. Your right leg forward. Before you come up, place your block in front of you. Place it lengthwise and step onto your block. Inhale, raise your arms from the sides. Keep your tailbone tucked in, join the palms together. Lengthen your spine and look up. As you exhale, extend the arms, squeeze the shoulder blades, fold forward, bend your knees and wrap your arms around your legs. Inhale to lift your chest up. Exhale, begin to straighten the legs. Very good. Release your arms. Place your palms on the floor. Your knees can stay bent. Inhale, step your right leg back. Use your core. Hold your breath. Left knee to your chest to plank variation. Breathe here. Inhale, step back to plank. Keep your feet separated. Exhale, lower down to Chaturanga. If Chaturanga is hard, drop the knees on the floor. And rest, let your chest rest on the block. Point your toes back. Inhale for up dog. Exhale into down dog. In down dog, it's nice to bend the knees. Raise the heels up. That way you're working your toe joints as well. Making your feet flexible. Keep pressing your abdomen closer to your thighs. Keeping the neck free and relaxed. It's nice to move, but it's also nice to stay still and experience the posture. Give yourself a little bit of both. Inhale, step the right foot all the way. On the block, in between your palms. Exhale, bring the left leg in front, onto the block. Inhale, raise your arms. Come up, keep your toes pressed in, tailbone tucked in, look up. Exhale, take the arms out, squeeze the shoulder blades, open the chest. As you bend forward, wrap the arms nice and tight around your legs. Inhale to lift the chest up. Exhale, straighten the legs. You can drop the head down if you're comfortable with that. Release the hands. Inhale, send the left leg back. Hold your breath, use your core. Right knee to chest. You can breathe once you're in this position. Work the arms, the shoulders. Inhale for plank. Exhale, lower down to Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Move around till you feel your body is comfortable. Stretch the muscles that feel tight. Connect with the areas that feel flexible. And then stay still. Let's take one more breath. Now inhale, bring your left foot all the way onto the block. 
Exhale, right leg forward. We do this one more time. Inhale, raise your arms. Keep your tailbone tucked in. Lengthen your spine. Exhale, take your arms from the sides. You could even interlock your fingers. Fold forward. And then wrap the arms around the legs. Inhale to lift the chest up. Exhale, straighten the legs. Fold forward. Release your arms. Inhale, right leg back. Hold your breath. Left knee to chest for plank variation. Hug the knee really in. Inhale to plank. Exhale, lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. And find your breath. Inhale, step the right foot in between your palms. Exhale, left leg in front. Inhale, come up. Exhale, to fold forward. Release your arms. Inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale and straighten. Place your palms on the mat. Inhale. Left leg back. Hold your breath. Right knee to your chest. Breathe here. Inhale. Into plank. Exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale. Up dog. Exhale, down. You can pause the video if you want to. And do this sequence at least another three, maybe four times. But if you're running short of time, these many rounds are good enough. Inhale, bring your left foot in between your palms. Exhale, right leg in front. Now before you come up, step down from the block. Place your block to the side. Your feet are together. Inhale, to chair pose, Utkadasana. Exhale, fold forward. Uttanasana. Drop the head down. Inhale. Halfway up. Lift your chest up. Hold your breath. You can bend your knees deeply here. Press into your palms. Jump back into plank. Chaturanga. Inhale. Up dog. Exhale. Down dog. Inhale, raise your right leg up. Exhale, bring the right foot in between your palms. Keep the left heel grounded. Inhale, come up for warrior two. Take time here, widen your stance. You want your right knee in line with your right ankle. Your arms nice and stretched. Sink the hips down. Since we are working with the inner thighs, check that you are externally rotating both the hips, tailbone tucked in, core muscles firm, active, your warrior two. Turn your right palm to face up. Inhale, like as if somebody is pulling you towards the back of the room. Drop your left fingertips on the left calf. Reverse your warrior. With an exhalation, straighten your right leg, point your right foot forward, both arms to the ceiling. 
in one breath inhale turn the left foot both arms go behind your back interlock your fingers look up exhale forward fold bring your forehead close to your left big toe humble warrior pose release your hands to the mat walk your palms towards the middle of the mat as you walk forward turn your left foot so the left foot is facing in front inhale raise your arms from the sides come up stretch the spine exhale place your palms on your hips turn the heels in toes out and sit down into a half squat the goddess pose inhale to straighten exhale to sit down inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down place your palms against the inner edges of your knees push the knees out lock your elbows and stay here pay attention to your breath it's so reconnecting with the parts of the body where you sense a feeling of expansion one more big breath breathe in as you breathe out straighten the legs bend forward release the hands to the floor walk your palms to either side of your right foot inhale and step back for plank exhale to chaturanga inhale for up dog exhale to down dog We're going to do this on the left side now. I'll do it facing the camera. Inhale, raise your left leg up. Exhale, step the left foot in between your palms. Right heel is grounded. Inhale for warrior two. Take time here. Feel, feel your inner thighs. Press through the outer edges of both the feet. to externally rotate and sink the hips down arms stretched out turning the left palm to face up inhale work with your upper body pull your upper body towards the right drop your fingertips to your calf and look up reverse warrior 2 exhale straighten the left leg take both the arms up your left foot po pointing forward inhale circle your arms back interlock your fingers bend your right knee look up exhale bring your forehead close to your right big toe humble warrior releasing the hands to the floor walk your palms to the middle of the mat turn your right foot so the foot is pointing in front inhale raise your arms come up stretch the spine exhale palms on your hips turn the heels in toes out inhale bend the knees exhale to relax Inhale bend your knees if you want to take this a little deeper raise both the heels of the mat Exhale straighten Inhale Exhale Now inhale sink into the hips 
Press the palms against your knees. Lock the elbows. Breathe here. Nice, slow breaths. Very good. Release. Straighten the legs. Palms on the floor. Walk your palms to either side of your left foot. Inhale for plank. Exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale to down dog. You may drop your knees to the floor. Sit back in child's pose. If you have the time, do this at least another two times. Feel your heart. Feel your breath. You don't need to do anything to control it. Allow the body to settle on its own. At its own pace. Slowly walk your hands back, tuck your toes in and sit back into Malasana, the yogic squat. Now that we work with our core strength, our shoulder strength and the flexibility of the inner thighs, we are ready for Bhakasana, crow pose. Sit like the way I am, wear your upper arms, the space close to your armpit is pressed against your knee. Stretch the arms out with your palms facing up the way I have. Now without losing contact between your knee and your arm, lift your hip up to place the palms down. I'll do that again. Without losing contact, lift your hip up to place the palm down. The distance is already set. You don't want to keep the palms too close to your feet. Let the palms be away from the feet. Once your palms are grounded, raise your heels off the floor. Bend your elbows towards your body and look towards the front of your mat. Lean forward till you can come onto the tips of your toes. When you feel your legs are very, very light, then experiment by lifting one foot up. Maybe you can lift both the feet up. If you're feeling really strong, straighten your arms. And release the same way. Come back down for Malasana. Close your eyes. It's nice to do this three times. It gives your body a better sense of connection, repetition, muscle memory. But I leave that up to you. You may release the pose. Cross your legs. If you have a cushion to sit down, sit on the cushion. Sit cross-legged. Stretch both the arms up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Take your left palm back. Right palm to your left knee. Twist and look over your shoulder. Inhale, both arms lifted up. Exhale, twist to the opposite side. Release, come back to center. And place your palms in chin mudra where you keep the tip of your thumb, the tip of your index finger together. And close your eyes.
breathing into your chest slowly and deeply. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. We practice alternate nostril breathing, Nadi Shodhana. Use your right hand thumb to close your right nostril. Breathe in through your left. Using your ring and little finger, close your left nostril. Exhale through the right. Breathe in through the right. Close the right, breathe out through the left. Breathe in through the left. Close the left, breathe out through the right. Breathe in through the right. Close the right, breathe out through the left. Let's do this another five times. Go at your own comfortable pace. Both the palms and chin mudra. Observe your natural breathing. There's no need to control the breath now, just feel it. Focus at your eyebrow center. If you find it hard to connect to this space, use your index finger to slightly press, press the eyebrow center. Make gentle circular movements there.
release. Now focus. your eyes to remain closed. You lie down on the back for Shavasana. Try not to disturb your state of mind. You can move very slowly. Lie down on your back. So roll around a little bit. Release tension from your lower back. Keep your feet wider than the hips. Flopping up to the sides. Arms away from your body, your fingers loosely curled in. Relax the shoulders. Keep the back of your neck long. Take a big breath in. Exhale. Breathe in. Feel your body sinking into the floor. You connect with the feeling of heaviness as your muscles begin to relax. Feel your breath. You may stay in Shavasana for as long as you want to. Stay connected with space inside your head. Explore 